going on YouTube? Another update over here. The lava rod off the haunted garden. Quick overview. Everything's looking dandy. Not too much uh, progress, but a little bit. Uh, let's see. Let's start right over here with this Santa Fe Grand pepper here. Looking very, very nice. Um, you can see down here it says Gero Pepper and a oh, dead leaf. Nice one. Uh, and it kind of looks like one of the ones right there on the label. So, might be ready to pick that guy. My Serrano. Looking very nice. Check that out. Little color differentiation there. Starting to red up here, especially right up here at the tip or the top. And another nice looking one right here. We're going to start with something I got instead of like these guys. Uh, I believe this is a little jalapeno, looking half decent, uh, branching up pretty good, and the stem looks really nice and thick, so that's awesome. Another little one right over here, starting to flower, not flower, but bush out a little bit, looking nice. I believe these both are my uh, bells, the green bells, looking pretty nice. Um, oh, there is, uh, no, uh, there's like little pepper nodes right there, but I wouldn't call that uh, actually starting to pep any. But uh, it's getting close. It's a little buddy right over here. We can have decent. My little apple tree experiment still the same. Not crunchy, but uh, doesn't appear to be growing. Um, it does have, uh, you can see, I don't know if you can see that, little white hairs all over the stem. So hopefully that means it's trying to do some kind of growing. Right over here, my carrots. I decided to go ahead and pull away some of the rocks to show everybody. There's a little tiny little carrot there. That's the one I saved. Um, this one, I think there was nothing really to look at. Yeah, it's just another little tiny one way down in there. Um, but look at this one right over here. Not so bad. Leaves in the way. There's my finger right next to it, index finger. So it's about the same thickness. Actually, no, it's probably a little bit more than that, like an eighth more. And then this one right over here. Nice. So, uh, that's bigger than my finger, too. Um, but hey, got carrots. So, I guess that dispels that rumor, at least for myself. I know I saw other people do it, but I didn't. So, I wanted to make sure that I did it. Um, I think I called this one a seascape, uh, strawberry a while back. This is not. This is a Loran or Lauren or whatever that name is. Uh, but it's starting to flower. So, that's pretty nice. Um, Nice, healthy-looking uh, root base right there. Or not root base, but uh, stock. What the heck do they call that? Crown. But anyway, everything else is looking really nice. This stupid lettuce here is actually looking half decent. Um, it's not, like, wilty or anything, like, even though it kind of looks like it right here. It's not really wilty, um, but it's still going, and I just kind of wanted to let it go ahead and bolt and drop some seeds so I can get some volunteers. Speaking of, here are my two volunteers. They are nice and tall. This one is about this tall right here. And oh, I thought I had some flowers going on that, and I don't. But the other one right there, as you can see, going up nice and tall. Some flowerage right here, here, right up there. Look at all that stuff. More flowers right over here. It's getting gigantic. It's at the top, over the top of this stick right here. So I'm gonna have to incorporate that into the main beam, which I'll talk about in a different video. Alright, what else do we have going on over here? Wait, didn't I have... No, I did not. Okay. Uh, strawberries. Got a whole little patch going on over here, as you can see. A uh, bunch of them going on. Um, since I... Well, I was going to be cutting all these runners here, as you can see. Another one right over here. Another one right there. I mean, they're all over the place right here. All over the place. Uh, here. I was going to be cutting them off and allowing them to go ahead and start burying again. It's too late to, for these guys to be burying anymore, even though there's some flowers right there. But um, I'm calling it too late. Oh, there's some more flowers right there too. Okay, so I'm an idiot. Um, I'm calling it too late for them to be burying anyway uh, with the problems I'm having with the hydro tube right now with the white flies and me just being a jerk and not making sure the water's going through there and me killing off some plants um or at least they look like they're being killed off i'm going to go ahead and encourage as many runners as i can and once they actually start getting roots i'm going to start i don't know maybe transferring them into dirt for the time being 
Uh, but pretty much I'm trying to save up as many runners as I can so I can repopulate my uh, strawberry tragedy if it becomes that. And uh, that way I'm not out of a bunch of strawberries. I know I had over 200 in this, uh, between this garden and the other garden at the beginning of the year, and then the runner started, so I don't know. I'd like to at least stay at 200, uh, and possibly even more, and with a patch like this, it's probably coming really soon. Right over here, let's see if we can get some, uh, there we go. Nice looking carrot right there. Another one right over here. Not looking so bad, kind of dark colored. Cover them guys are all by going up. Uh, them guys. That's proper English. Um, right back here, this guy, right up in my twine type uh, trellis here. That's my red beef stack. No flowers to uh, talk about yet, uh, but it's growing nice and tall. I mean, that's uh, almost eye level with me. So, I'm very happy about that. Speaking of, this one is flowering and it is higher than eye level uh, for me. This is my son Marzano. Um, I just love saying that. I uh, can't wait to see what kind of uh, fruit that that thing produces. Right beside it, a yellow cherry. Oh my god, I've been eating these things out of the dirt garden. I've been taking them to work where, uh, as you can see, we got some flowers there. We got some more flowers right over here. I love these things. These are my new favorite thing to grow are cherry tomatoes. I love them. They're ripe really quick. And, like, you can take, like, I mean, obviously, this is not very many, but you can take, like, this entire thing and just snip it right off and then take it to work with you, and you can just snack on uh, tomatoes, like, well, you know, for five minutes. But, um, they are so freaking good, and they ripe so quick. I don't know why I've been screwing around with these giant tomatoes, like the Marglobe and, you know, beef steak and stuff like that cherry is the way to go for me this year anyway. Um, I hope to get some uh, cuttings off of this one so I can uh, make more plants because I plan on having strawberries well into January like I did last year. Hopefully with this greenhouse the roof doesn't get ripped off. But got steps to take care of that as well. Check out my next video. It'll be up on there. But um, like I was saying, I love these cherries. I've been taking them to work, and my friend from Moldova, which if you don't know, that's a country in Eastern Europe, right there next to Ukraine, which everybody's been hearing about lately, uh, and Crimea, um, right there on the Black Sea. She loves my organic tomatoes, so like pretty much all of the tomatoes I've been harvesting, I've just been feeding to her, and she loves them. It's great, and I love having someone who appreciates organic stuff. All right here, my chili red. As you can see, got one on there. I believe it came with the plant, but the rest of it's starting to like die off. I don't know if that's because this giant kale here is overshadowing it right next to it. I mean, this thing's really gigantic. All kind of freaking leaves all over. A uh, little bit of pest damage that I was having here and like right over here seems to be fading off. And uh, as you can see, I mangled up the plant there. Well, you can call it mangled or trimmed or whatever. I like to call it mangled. Um, but it's looking pretty decent. Uh, right back here. Where was I going here? There we go. Pak choy. Looking like crap. Should have just pulled it, but we got a little ladybug there helping us out. So hopefully it's doing something, maybe? I don't know. Uh, second year broccoli. Looking really good. Uh, all these little seed pods are pretty much drying up and everything. And as you can see, we got empty pods. Which means... Hey! Check that out. Voluntary broccoli. I love volunteers. They're my favorite. Uh, well, because it's free stuff. Let's go back here. Check it out. Another volunteer right there. Love this. It's one of my favorite things. This is my new favorite thing anyway. Uh, one of them. Go right back here. Look. Two more volunteers right there. It's so great, man. I love volunteers when they pop up. Um... I don't know. There's just something about free stuff. Uh, the tomatoes, they pretty much like go in order. You got like small down there and then a little bit uh, bigger than small and then medium. And then like it ends up right here. Two more mediums. Eh, doing her thing. Sucker right here. Flowering like crazy. All kind of uh, stuff there. I believe this is one of the yellow cherries. Or the yellow sun cherries. Um, got some more flowerage going right here on another sucker. I believe that's another Marglobe right there, though. Um, carrots over here on this end. 
All right, let's check it out. Oh, we got a split on the carrot there on the far side, on the uh, uh, right on that side, right over there. It's not really. Oh, maybe I can just. There you go. Now you can see that split right there. So kind of split a little bit. See what this other one's doing over here. Not too bad. Looking pretty good. Come on back up. Um, looking pretty decent. Uh, my little other apple tree experiment right here. Uh, nothing to really report. As you can see, there's nothing really green, but it, it is really green. Um, and it looks like it, I, man, this dang camera won't focus when I go in close. Um, it's got like little white hairs all over it. So I'm really hoping that it's actually rooting, but we won't know until we see some growth pop off there. Um, the little tiny amount of growth that I was seeing, I'm not seeing, uh, that I was seeing before, I'm not seeing it right now. So maybe it's not really growing, I don't know. Um, I got nothing but time, so it's going to remain there, and hopefully it roots, and if it doesn't, I will just yank it out of there. What else we got? Oh, my cantaloupe. Coming right on out of the bed here, looking good. I think I'm going to try to train it right up this uh, stake right here, which comes well above my head, and then I'm going to, I don't know, maybe get it to go to the roof line, and take off from there. Um, I know I'm forgetting somebody. Okay, there's volunteers, volunteers, um, carrot, do, 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 do. no, just these runners that are looking really nice, ring, all in here, okay, yeah, that was that entire bed, come right over here, we've got flowering on my black creme, looking pretty decent, uh, some of the leaves kind of look a little goofy, like this, and like right over here, some curling and stuff like that, but, hey, dirty aquaponic style, what do you expect, right over here, my, um, this is my giant Marconi. Here's one of them starting to red up a little bit. Got a wasp going right in my fix. Okay. Um, let's see. It looks like... No, it's not pest damage right there. Uh, it's just a little mark on it. But it's looking pretty decent. Check this out. This is the one I just pulled off of it. Gigantic. I mean, I've got really big hands, people. There you go. Look. It's almost the size of my palm. But it's a nice uh, reddish, greenish type color. I figured I'd pull it and then just go ahead and let it um, ripen a little bit off of there. My uh, little tiny radicchio. Um, I don't know. There's all kind of green stuff growing right in the center. So I'm pretty sure it's going to do like the other one and just go ahead and bolt and then seed, which is fine with me. Like I said, volunteers. Uh, I've just been noticing like in this section right over here, this entire section, it seems to have uh, not enough rock, and I need to add a little bit more because there's like some algae growing. You can see like that patch right in there and right over there. I was trying to cover it up a little bit before I started shooting, but I think I just need more rock. Um, I believe this is a jalapeno here looking good. Oh, freaking leaf hopper. Look, little leaf hopper right there on that freaking thing. Oh, bitch. Ah, he jumped off. Where'd he go? He's on my foot. <laughs> He's on my ankle. Alright, whatever. Uh, I believe that's a jalapeno right there. Uh, let, yeah, it looks like crap, but look at all the green growth. So, that's what's very encouraging for me. Uh, another green bell right here. Actually starting to take off after I topped it. What was it months ago now? Malabar right there. That one's not looking so hot. Uh, but this one right over here, it's not looking hot either, but it's actually looking like it's growing. Mammoth jalapeno here. Actually got a pepper going right there on the side there, but it's kind of yellowed a little bit. Um, not really worried about this yellowing. I'm pretty sure my system is just uh, in the middle of a cycling. Um, pretty sure it's about to, because uh, of all the catfish activity that's been going, I'm going to show you here in a minute. I think it's just been going absolutely nuts here, and I think it's just going to have an explosive growth moment here very, very soon. Uh, my garden salsa came with a pepper on it already. Looking half decent. Got a dead fly there or something uh, hanging out. A couple more peppers trying to pop right off there. My uh, Mexi Bell. I'll tell you what, I love these peppers. They are just like a bell. A little tiny bit of a tang. They're awesome. Um, especially for you people that don't like spicy things, this would be your kind of ticket. You could be like, oh, I eat spicy things because they have that little bit of a tang where you can say, yeah, it's kind of spicy. But if you like spicy things, you're like, yeah, it's like a bell pepper. But uh, very nice. Right over here is my cow horn. And just stepping on a uh, 
dead dragonfly that's all dried up. That's great. Neat. Bare feet. Squishing a bug. Yay. Uh, like I said, my cow horn right here looking half decent. A pretty decent looking uh, pepper right there. I don't even know what that is. Like some dead leaves over there. And it's intermixing right in here. Uh, another one. I believe that's uh, another green bell right here. Eh. Looking okay. Got a nice green leaf right over there. My little tiny jalapeno looks like crap. Kale starting to come into their own here. Looking half decent. Another little uh, strawberry right here at the beginning. And can't forget, oh man, the leaf fell off. That little stick was my Bolivian Super Freak Hot Pepper. Oh no, that's the one I was looking at back there. That one right there. Um, still looks like crap. The ones I have coming up in cups are actually bigger. Alrighty, yeah, more uh, runners hanging off right here with some goofy rust color in them. Watermelon, this is the only one left. The one that was right here where the pepper is, I pulled that guy. It looked like crap. Uh, it was time to get rid of him. This watermelon, it's just kind of stalled. Um, let me see what kind of root growth we've got going on. Not too bad. Um, this watermelon, check this out. Yeah, look at the white freaking roots on that. That is awesome. This freaking rock out of the way. And this old leaf. All right, so right over here, this is the... Uh, pineapple sage that I cloned. Look at the root mass on that thing. It is gigantic. I wanted to give that to my parents, but then I would have to give up that cup. I didn't feel like doing that. A um, couple of the strawberries over here. Let's see what they got going on. Uh, just a couple little roots there. How about this guy right over here? Uh, more roots. As you can see, it's getting all entangled up with all the other roots in the water there. So it's kind of rocks right back in. A little strawberry over here. This is just one of my, I think, quinaults. Um, they're running. That's the guy coming over here. Uh, banana peppers, sweet. Uh, one, two, three, four. Looking half decent. Um, right over here, like I said, this one is the one that I was cloning. I pulled another one. As you can see, got a couple marks right there. I pulled one, and they all actually started looking like this. And they're like, just leaves are all dried up and crappy looking. The whole plant is actually looking that way. So I don't know if it's just getting old or what's going on. But uh, I really need, to, really need to get rid of this thing. I keep saying that every week. And then I never get rid of it. Um, and it's just throwing dead leaves everywhere, as you can see. So I really don't want to have that thing just hanging around, dying on me and stuff. So I'm pretty sure, uh, what do I have here? Four more stems coming off. Just cut them all and maybe throw them right in here. Uh, right next to it, my peppermint looking pretty decent. Got a ladybug crawling on my foot. Oh, fell off. Um, uh, where, oh, here, this is what I wanted to show. Check out all the ladybugs hanging out right up in here. We've got like five of them all right there, just hanging out. Probably, uh, waiting for the heat of the day, which right about now is just about over, to, uh, go ahead and do their thing out there. Um, uh, my peppermint right here, oh, looking very great. Everything is nice. My little tiny, I believe that was my, it doesn't matter, Cajun bell, Mexi bell, whichever one is which. Both of them are looking like crap. No roots growing on either one of them. Those are my four sweet bananas. I moved the cantaloupe over here. So now it can start falling off the side and just start running along the side. Uh, just one little, or two little flowers there starting to form. Lorraine strawberries right here. As you can see, we got little uh, flowers popping off all over the place, which I'm very proud of. I love that. Um, I just planted these just a little while ago and they're already starting to pop off with stuff. Um, also, my uh, what is this? mammoth jalapeno, not the mucha nacho. This is mammoth, looking pretty decent. Got another pepper popping off right here. This one is looking like crap. This is just regular jalapeno, and if you can see that on these leaves, there's like little bumps all over it, so I imagine there's some kind of parasite. Got a little uh, spider looking thing hanging out on there. Hopefully, he's gonna take out some. I've just noticed that the ladybugs, I never released them over here and they're just migrating over this way. So any kind of pest over here, hopefully they're taken out. And I believe, oh, there's the bananas right there. So these three right here are all jalapenos and the two are looking fine and the one is looking really crappy. As you can tell, the board is still saturate, sat, uh, saturated with water. Um, again, um, <laughs> I'm gonna run that thing until the freaking wheels fall off. So. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and keep it going. As you can see, water intake over here, even sawdust and crap like that, it's all wet. Um, everything's wet. Everything's wet! Um, 
but yeah, it, it is what it is, man. Um, it was a dumb decision. I made a dumb decision, and now I'm living with it. Uh, still have no prospect of a better... Well, I still have prospects of better uh, things to use, but uh, nothing in the plan, uh, like in motion anyway. I wanted to show off some of these roots here, because I think this is really freaking cool. I love it. Look at that. Look at that root mass over there. Jive freaking gigantic. That is awesome. That's the peppermint right there. And then you can see the pineapple sage on the other side. Just gigantic, man. All these guys. Everything's looking great. Uh, some of them are not really white like this guy. It's kind of brownish. But, hey, whatever. I think it's really cool that you can see the roots while you're growing. Uh, empty bed still with random plumbing parts hanging around. Still have to uh, go ahead take care of that. And I figured we'd come all the way back around here. And I would just go ahead and try to throw some food right into the catfish here and see if they actually come out. I fed them earlier today, and uh, they were starting to really swim around and uh, going nuts. So I don't know if they're actually going to do that now. So I'm just going to go ahead and record a little video of that. But for the most part, everything else, that's the way it is. And that's what I got going on this week. So I'll leave you with some fish action, hopefully. And until next week, later. Alright, well, as usual, when the camera's on, they get all camera shy. So, I guess I won't show you any fish uh, footage here. But, uh, the reason I wanted to show you was it was really cool. They swim around like little sharks. It's shark week and all that crap. I don't even know why I know that. Um, but these guys look like little tiny sharks swimming around and I thought it was really cool. So I guess I can't show you. So next week before I actually feed them I'll go ahead and try to get some footage for you and I'll show you that. So until next time. Later.